Hey everyone, Cody here, and uh, welcome back. Today, I just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on some, some things just going on in my life. First off is that I recently switched jobs, so I no longer work uh, where I did. I work for a coffee company now. I won't say who it is because you've probably never heard of it anyway. Um, but it will affect um, how often I upload and um, just how frequently I'm able to do that. So I may not be a posting painting videos as often as I'd like simply because with my new work schedule that may not be a possibility. Uh, the second thing is that I am going to start using more acrylic. And the reason is, is uh, there's a couple of reasons. I'm going to put this painting up. And I'm going to show it to you because I didn't record it. Um, and it's essentially a Richter style painting. The lighting is always tricky to show you this painting um, or show you anything. Uh, but this is a Richter style painting that I actually like quite a bit and it was done with acrylic. The reason that I'm going to be using more acrylic is one, it's easier for people to use uh, if they ever try to follow any of the stuff that I do. Glass enamel is not necessarily readily available for everyone, although acrylic generally tends to be pretty accessible. Two, I have come to realize that there's a lot of things that I cannot do with gloss enamel because it's so fluid. Because it's so liquidy, it's very hard for me to be able to do some of the things I really want to do with the paintings uh, because it's so thin and because it's so runny. It has like almost no body to it. So with acrylic, you can put it up on like, say if I was painting on this where it was mounted, I could put it up and, and paint on that and the paint wouldn't come, it probably wouldn't slide off unless it was really thin acrylic, but most acrylics have at least a little bit of body to them. So it wouldn't slide off. I could put it on there and then start working with it before it had a chance to leave. Uh, but with gloss enamel, as soon as I put it on there, it's gonna try to run off. So there's just a lot of limitations to gloss enamel. Gloss enamel looks great uh, with the shine and everything, but it's, it's super difficult to work with. Also, it's, it's expensive. So the gloss enamel that I use uh, went up a little bit in price, makes it about over 16 bucks a can, which is reasonable as far as getting a lot of out of it. But if I mess up a couple of paintings, like that adds up. Also, it's just harder for me to use as a material um, just because I found that it's, it's very difficult to work with. It's very unforgiving. Uh, it destroys anything it touches. And overall, it's just a difficult medium to, to work with overall. So when I put it on canvas, sometimes it, it, it's so thin that you actually will see the canvas coming through. And it, it just doesn't adhere to it the same way that regular paint would. So I, may, I will still probably use it sparingly because I still have some. Um, but I will probably be gearing more of my paintings towards acrylic. Uh, simply because that's what I used before gloss enamel, but it's also easier to do some of these smaller paintings with acrylic. And that way I can actually buy all my materials in one place. I go to the craft store to buy the canvas, so I may as well just buy the canvas and the paint at the same time. It makes it a lot easier for me. It's a little more affordable simply because, again, I'm, I don't sell nearly as many paintings as I make, so it also will help me to kind of make it you know, when I get the chance. So that's pretty much it. I wanted to just kind of give you guys an update um, for the channel. So if you don't see as much content, it's only because I'm not able to create paintings as often as I'd like. But I really appreciate everyone's support. And uh, that's it. I will catch you guys in another painting video whenever I get a chance. Take care, guys.